What's going on guys? Thank you for tuning in. This is 5.2 liter. In this video, I wanna go over how to install a duckbill on your WRX. Um, this is gonna be a um, fairly easy install. It's probably gonna take you about 20 to 30 minutes. And um, all you're gonna need is really the hardware that comes delivered with the duckbill. And um, yeah, a little bit of patience and um, yeah, a screwdriver to get the screws out from the original. Um, spoiler here and uh, we're gonna start with removing all these clips here so we can get that mat out and um, it's gonna be fairly easy if you have a little tool for this um, of course you can also use a flathead screwdriver and um, yeah, you just want to pop these clips out and then this mat will come out all by itself all right so just like that so the mat will come out Right. Next up, you want to take a ratchet here and remove those two screws that are keeping the spoiler in place. This is also fairly easy to get to. Um, so nothing too crazy. And, um, yeah, just get those two screws out, and the spoiler should be fairly easy to remove. So here you can see the comparison. You also see the clips on the bottom end of the small OEM spoiler lip and um, you can see this uh, aftermarket dock bill is quite a lot bigger um, that's why we want to replace the OEM one just to get a little bit of a more sporty style here and um, next up I just cleaned the trunk lid here in order to get you know all the residue off all the dirt off and uh, just kind of get the surface clean so the 3M tape will stick to it better. So the process that you're seeing here, I'm just really trying to align that tape all over um, the bottom end of that duckbill. And afterwards, I will do that on the same on just the upper sides. And uh, you will want to leave just maybe a couple mil space on top and bottom so it's not exposed once the duckbill is installed on the trunklet. But um, yeah try to just keep it pretty straight, make sure that it's all um, sticking to the duck ball and uh, you shouldn't have any issues. All right, as a next step, I just kind of aligned the, the duck ball with the provided screws from the kit and um, yeah made sure that i have a little bit of that rubber from the 3m um, sticking out so i can pull it off once um, the, the spoiler is in the right position i didn't tighten the screws all the way yet so i can still pull the tape off and uh, this really makes it super easy to align the duck bill because if you just want to uh, glue it on there with the tape you might be having it somewhat offset but having the screws already in definitely helps the process here Next up, I'm just um, applying a little bit of pressure um, so that the glue really fully sticks to the trunk lid here. And um, yeah, just kind of do that all over the place to ensure it's really fully seated. And then afterwards you can tighten the screws uh, on the inside of the trunk lid. And yeah, so we have the final product here and I think it really, really looks good. Um, $450, this is really the best duck bill that i could find on the internet um, we'll see how it holds up but um, i'm really really surprised of the quality and the overall looks of the duck bill because um, on other m online pages um, you you might find one for three four hundred dollars um, so 150 dollars is very fair the color matches the vehicle perfectly and um, yeah i'm super happy with it so if you're in the market for a spoiler a duck bill, give this a shot. Um, I'll link the product below. Um, and yeah. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you like this uh, duck bill? Would you also get this or would you invest a little bit more money? Let me know what you think. If you like this kind of video, please um, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me um, like the video. And, you know, as always, stay loud.